incision. I'm going to make the bite towards me. I'm going to curl that out. I'm going to gather it. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the next one without tying a knot. I'm going to work my way from right to left. We're all right-handed, so we're always going to start on the right side of the incision. If my incision's here, I'm starting on the right side. I'm not starting here and working my way right. So incision's here to here. I don't want to start at this far end. My hand is in the opening then. I want to close, so my hand's always over the closed incision. So I'm always going to be working right to left. So it's my next bite for this stitch is to do the exact same forehand, curl out. And now when I tie these two together, I made the cruciate, the cross mattress or cruciate mattress. So a cruciate or cross mattress is forehand followed by a forehand. Now we tie. There's a little bit of difference in this knot. We're going to do exactly the same two throws, grab the tip of the suture, but instead of pulling this way, I want to lay this down the way the knot's wanting to lay down. The knot wants to lay this way, so I'm on a little bit of an angle pulling it. If I'm doing this, I'm, I'm twisting the knot too much. Mm -hmm. Let's lay it the way it wants to lie. So there's our surgeon's knot. One throw inside the V, grab the tip, make it even tension, and then again I'm pulling a little bit on the slant. That's what I'll be doing here, rather than back and forth this way. That's one surgeon's knot. Pretty. And I did my two square knots. Now we'll practice that one and the horizontal mattress because they're almost the same thing. Remember that cruciate was two forehands? Well, this is a forehand and a backhand. So we're going to learn a backhand next. Always well, we start with a forehand. Life's easier that way. Forehand, curl that out, gather. Now instead of a forehand again, I'm doing a backhand. Now the backhand means instead of the curl of the needle towards me, it's got to be away from me in the needle hole. And I'm going to start further left, because I'm always working right to left. Curl it this way. That's a backhand. Mm -hmm. Away from me. Otherwise, it's identical. I'm going to grab the tip, curl it out, come in here and gather. Now you can see when I tie, which I'll be tying this direction now, because that's the way the knot's going to want to lay, it forms horizontal mantras. Two forehands of cruciate, forehand and a backhand, you get a horizontal mattress. So inside the V, two throws, grab the tip. And I want to, the knot wants to lay horizontal like that. So I'm going to cross my hands. It's a little, un, a little uncomfortable, especially on that first knot. This knot right here is when it gets a little bit more uncomfortable because you're crossing at the wrists. Otherwise, the knots are the same. And if it was worried about tension, I'd put some, some kind of stent under there to prevent it from coming through. All right. Does anybody need more suture? Yes. So go ahead and.